Ohio seek recognition. I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and to revise and extend my remarks. Without well, objection, the gentleman from the great state of Ohio is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to highlight something President Biden and I agree on for once. U.S. Steel must remain an American company. Steel is the backbone of our economy and is crucial to America's national and economic security. American bridges, railways, highways, and buildings are all built with, you guessed it, steel. U.S. Steel is American steel at its core, and it was once the largest steel producer in the world, a symbol of our global competitiveness. United States Steel should be owned by Americans. United States Steel should provide jobs to American workers. United States Steel should be here to forge America forward. Now, Mr. Speaker, I want to be clear. This is not about being anti-Japan or any other nation for that matter. Instead, this is about being pro-America and protecting our economic future and our national security. A strong steel industry means a strong middle class with good paying jobs and that support American families. We shouldn't sell out our workers or our future to foreign corporations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back. For what purpose does the gentleman from the great state of New York seek recognition?